Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're gonna restore, mod and upgrade this Toshiba laptop. This is Toshiba L875 and this laptop was brought to me in a desperate condition. The specs are not bad at all. The CPU is second generation Intel Core i3. The motherboard and the display are working and basically this is all good here. The laptop case is in a bad condition. It is full of scratches and very dirty. The keyboard is not working. The hard disk is not working. The RAM is not working also. And when I've done the basic tests, this laptop is extremely overheating. It shut down after under a minute of using. Well, let's start and back this laptop in a function again. So first, I will start with a full teardown. I need to separate all parts, because later I will cross over a detailed cleaning process and we're gonna make some mud to cover the scratches. Well, the teardown is complete. And now let's move to the cleaning process. First I start with cleaning the motherboard and the cooling fan. And then I continue with cleaning the other inside parts and electronics. To clean the motherboard and the other parts, I used a 96% isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and a soft brush.
Well, the first cleaning process is complete and everything is looking much better. It is almost like a brand new. Now, after finish with cleaning the components from the inside of the laptop, including the display hinges, I move to cleaning the display. This is a crystal bright display, but because of dirt it's more like a made display. But we're gonna change that now. So first, I start with cleaning the back side of the display from dirt and dust and after, I move to the front side. Now, when I'm on the front side, I must say a few things. As always, to clean the display, I used two brushes. One is a soft brush for painting and the other is very soft makeup brush. Also, I'm using a 96% isopropyl alcohol anti-static glass cleaner and a few soft cleaning clothes. Cleaning the display is finished and this is the final result. Now, after finish with the display, let's move to cleaning the case. The laptop case, I clean it in a two different ways. First, the case that has some electronics on it, I clean it using a brush and anti-static glass cleaner. That's because do not cause some additional damage to the electronics. And the other way is, the case, the plastics that are without any electronics, I wash it using soap and water. Actually, this is the only way to clean the case in detail and make it like a new again. And this is the case after cleaning, but I'm not done yet. Meanwhile, I was in search for the keyboard. The old keyboard is not working, so I brought another keyboard. This is not a new keyboard. It is a used keyboard, but in a good condition. Here, I had to cross over one more cleaning process. These used keyboards mostly are coming with some dirt around the keys. But this is not a big deal, because I got this keyboard for a very cheap. Also, I got a used keyboard because this is an original keyboard by Toshiba and it is much better than some new and cheap copies. And finally, after a pretty long process of cleaning the parts and washing the case, everything is ready for the next step. And the next step is modding or painting the laptop case. Now, before I start with anything, now I cross over the preparing process. The preparing process is taping the case using paper tape, removing the stickers from the case and removing the other rubbers, like from the bottom side and from the display bezel. Actually, I have a big dope to mod the case or not, but at the last moment I've decided to paint the case. It's because the case is full of scratches especially very noticeable under a light, I mean over the day. Well, everything is ready, 
And now I move on painting the case. To paint the case, I use two colors. Melon yellow and anthracite mid gray, which is a little bit unusual combination. So first, I start with the melon yellow. With the melon yellow, I paint the mid case, where the keyboard is, and I paint the top case. Now, before I move to the gray spray, first I remove the paper tape and again I move to the next taping process. Well, after I finish with the taping again, I move to the entry side mid gray spray. With the gray spray, I paint two parts on the mid case where the keyboard is. I mean the speaker grill and the plastic around the trackpad. But also with the gray spray, I paint the bottom case, the display bezel, the battery, the CD-ROM cover, and the keyboard holder. Well, now everything is ready and now let's move to the assembling process and do some upgrades. And first I will start with preparing the motherboard and installing better CPU. Instead of Intel Core i3-2370M, I will use Intel i7-2670QM. Actually this laptop can support i7 third generation. That's because this laptop has HM76 chipset, but last time I got a few of these i7 CPUs, and this is a perfect place to use it. Well, after I install the CPU and I mount the cooling, now let's fully assemble this laptop and do the rest upgrades.
well. Now let's slow down before I place the last screws. So now it's time to do the second upgrade. And the second upgrade is the RAM. From non-working 4GB I will upgrade to 8GB. Maybe this laptop can go with more, but 8GB on this machine is totally fine. And the last upgrade is the disk. Instead of non-working hard disk, I will upgrade to 240GB Kingston SSD. For a nowadays standards, 240GB is nothing special, but it's good for basics and pretty good for this laptop. Also the SSD will make this laptop running much faster compared to the hard disk. And after making all the changes, this is the final result. Well, now let's move on testing and some games. The Intel i7 CPU on this laptop is working well and without any problems. I was a little bit worried about the temperatures, but after I have done more tests, everything was in a normal range. So no problem with overheating or anything else. As an operating system on this laptop, I install the Windows 10. The Windows 10 is working well and pretty fast. The basic applications in Windows are also working well without any problem and anything is surprisingly fast. This laptop now is great for all basic daily tasks, like working with documents, emails, web browsing, listening to music, watching videos and movies and much more. The gaming performance are not bad at all. The first game that I test is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. In this game I used a full display resolution and mostly medium and few high settings. The Call of Duty is running pretty good with a stable frame rate and the game is fully playable. The i7 CPU done a great job here and in the gaming area the i7 is a step up in gaming performance, I mean compared with the previous Intel Core i3. The next game on the list is Prototype. The Prototype is a bit older game, but it has higher system requirements. In Prototype I set 720p resolution. And again I used medium to high settings. The game under these settings is running pretty well, with a stable frame rate and without any problems.
And the last game that I test on this laptop is CS16. This is an older game and it's running pretty good on this laptop. However, also this laptop is great for games like Half-Life or Half-Life 2 and many other similar games. Well, and this is all about this Toshiba laptop. Nowadays these laptops become old and slowly they are staying in the past. But these models are still great for all basic daily tasks and great to play some older but awesome games. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back some touch in function again. Also, if you want to support my channel and my work, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.